Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we have an amazing problem for you guys. We'll be talking about plus one guys, right? So let's see what the problem setting says, right? So it says we're given a large integer representing as an integer array digits. Where each, each digit of i is the eighth digit of the integer, right? The digits are ordered from the most significant to least significant in left to right order, okay? The large integer does not contain any leading zeros very good so increment the large integer by one and return the resulting array of digits so very very simple prompt statement um they said a lot but let's see uh pretty much simple so what they're saying uh we're given a a, a large integer array which is represented as an array guys right that's what they're saying so you can see that we have this this number given to us this integer array uh we see it's a it's a integer array right of the what i'm saying it's an integer array, right? Which each digit occupy an index, right? So the number that's passed into us, it's obviously 123, guys, right? And then um, our job, right, is to essentially just increment it by one, guys. Whatever digit that's passed in, right? Increment it by one, guys, right? Okay. And then for this, this example, we have 123, and the output is 124, right? So that's what we have here, guys, right? Uh, we just increment it by one. Simple as that. And we have here, 4,321 and we just increment by one now we have 4,322 which uh is perfectly fine guys right we're very, very good okay um yeah so it's kind of uh and we have this example as well nine and then we increment by one now we get 10 guys right so that's kind of what what it is okay so how do we solve this problem guys right you know uh, how do we solve it okay so let's take it think about it for a little bit okay so we could you see the straightforward way is to we know that we just need to increment it by one guys that's what we do we just uh what i'm thinking is uh as we would do and uh if we were to do it like you know addition like manually right we would you know start off so by the least significant digit right which is the rightmost digit we increment that by one guys right it's kind of what it is right we increment by one plus one and it becomes four right and then now we have 124 guys right so that's why we end up returning right away guys this example is the same concept we increment by one right and we get four out uh, uh, 322 right so that's what we have here guys right so increment the least significant digit by one and we are good to go right but we uh come across those kind of cases guys right where we get the those nines man those nines are very, very uh tricky right so we need to treat them special okay so once we have a nine and we increment that nine by one guys right all right so it becomes 10 right so once we have so we know that it becomes 10 right so because of that right uh we know that each index can only have uh one digit right so therefore uh there will be some kind of a carry right involved carry involved here and then we move that to the next spot right and uh, that's what we end up having to so we put zero at that spot where nine was at right we correct by one now it becomes zero and then we care the one that gets carried over to the next spot right so um for, yeah so for those cases right we we see that we're coming from um so we see that the the array guys right the most significant digit right which is in this case the least significant digit right um there's a carry involved, right? So for the most significant, there's a carry involved. So we have to create a new array, right? That's uh, the the this length plus one, right? Right, the original array plus one, and then just uh, put the one at the beginning of the array, guys. Right, that's a very special case, right? Those are the cases like ninety nine, right? So we see that the if we increment the um, we are adding ninety nine plus one, right? So we see that there's a carry involved, right? We have nine plus one, uh, it goes 10, right? There's zero, we put the carry to the next spot. And then uh, we do, we get another 10 and then we put zero here, but one at the, there's a, there's a carry of one, right? Which goes on to the next spot. And that's why we end up having to create those kind of arrays, guys, right? So I'm gonna go through a quick example with you guys so you guys can understand that what, uh, the algorithm that I'm trying to show you guys, right? So we'll be straightforward, guys, right? If we do nine plus one, it's 10 right those are very special cases right, we have to handle so we do one and we carry over one and then we comes three guys right and then everything else stays the same right because there's no carries to 
go to the next part, right? So we, we just need to increment by one, right? Okay, so that's kind of what it is, right? So the code will be very, very simple, right? So we know that the, the approach is to just loop from right to left, right? We go from right to left because we want to just increment the, uh, the we want to increment the least significant digit, right? That's what we're doing, right? And as soon as we um, get a number, let's say that's not equal to nine, right? Where we have the special cases, right? We just loop from right to left. Uh, we encounter a regular case. We just increment that at least significant by one, and then we're good to go. We return right away, guys. Right? That's kind of what the approach is, right? And then if there are nines, we increment. We put zero at that particular spot, and then we carry over to the next digit, right? To simulate, you know, increment that by one as well, right? So, okay. So let's quickly go into the code, guys. Right? The code will be simple. So what what I'm thinking is we will be looping through the array, right? And the array is going to be very simple. So it odd equals two digits. That length minus one. I is greater than or equal to zero. I minus minus, right? We're decrementing the corner, right? And then what we're going to do now is do digits of I plus plus plus, right? This is us incrementing, incrementing the digit by one, guys, right? So we check if the digit that we just uh incremented is it um less than one less than 10 guys right if it's less than 10 and we have found we're, we're good to go right we've incremented the digit that we wanted to uh, increment by one and then we're good right we will return it right away guys no need to waste time right we're good to go so if that's not the case it must have been a nine and then we incremented by one which means that it's not less than 10 right in uh, those cases, we know that what we do, we um, we set it to zero, guys. That's what I'm doing here, essentially. Okay? And we keep doing that, you know, until we exit out. So if we never enter this case, guys, what we're going to do here, we have those cases where uh, the cases that I was referring to, uh, where, you know, the most significant digit has a carrot, right? So we increment nine, and now it goes to 10, right? So now, um, we put a zero at that spot, right? At that particular index. But now there's a carry, guys. There's a carry that we need to handle. This is how we're handling the end here, guys, right? So a new digit. There will be a digit element plus one, right? Uh, yeah, so we're just creating a plus one so we can add that additional one, guys. That's what I'm doing here equals to one okay and then we just return the new digits to the color right and um yeah i think we're good to go let's press run code see if we pass all these test cases okay let's press submit awesome guys we're able to pass all the test cases guys right if you guys found value you guys enjoyed this video and you know that in the comment section if you're new here make sure to subscribe because we'll be doing a lot of other videos just like this one so i want to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video